So last week I showed you this video uh, where I have a 2 gig flash drive that I made look like to the computer as if it was a one terabyte drive. It's a fun little trick. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this so you can mess with your friends and make them think that you have a one terabyte drive or a 10 terabyte drive, whatever size you want, uh, when you really don't. Um, please don't use this to try to con people. So in last week I showed you how to check to make sure your drives are really the size that you think they are. But right now you can see that I have this two gig drive and you can see also down here it says 1.9 gigabyte drive. So let's go ahead and also look at this in the shell. If I say mount, you can see that we're working with drive SDC1. Again, make sure when you uh, plug a drive in that when you're doing the stuff we're doing today that you're accessing the right drive, whether it's dev, SDA, SDB, SDC, whatever it is, because you don't want to wipe out <laughs> the wrong drive. Um, so there we go, we have that drive. You can see that it's a VFAT. And if I say DF-H, you can see that it is a 1.9 gig or a two gig drive. So let's go ahead and I'm going to create a folder here, Mictor Flash. And it's just an empty drive for me to work in. I really don't need to do that, but I just like to keep things separate. And now I'm gonna use a tool called MKDOSFS. It's, gonna, it's a program that allows you to make, whoops, MK DOS FS. It allows you to make DOS uh, partitions. So what we're gonna do today is we're basically gonna create a FAT32 format uh, partition. We're gonna make an image first and then put it on the drive, or at least the head of it on the drive. And uh, that the header of that file is going to fake the size of the drive. Uh, so if we man real quick and look at the, the man file, the manual of this program, you can see that it creates MS-DOS file systems under Linux. And we're going to be using the C, the capital C command, so dash C, which uh, creates a file uh, given as a device. Basically, instead of actually writing to a partition, we are going to create it in a uh, file, like an image, basically. So, uh, I'm going to go mkdosfs-c, we'll call this temp file, and I'll say uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That should be a terabyte. Uh, there might be a shorter way to write that. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And if I list it out, you'll see that I have a drive, a file here that supposedly is a one gigabyte, or I'm sorry, one terabyte, 954 gigabyte image. And uh, what I can also do here is list dash S and that file. And here it's actually telling me a different size. If I do it with a dash H for human readable here, it says that it's 239 megabytes. So it's not really already we're getting fake readings because the, the operating system's looking at two different ways of link, uh, the sizing this. And one part of it is the header of the file saying how big it is when it's really not that size. Um, so now what I need to do is write that to our drive. So first off, I'm gonna look again. You can see here that uh, we said SDC1 is my partition. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, there this, sudo umount that drive. I'm gonna make sure it's unmounted. Now, there's a little side note for you. Uh, a lot of people think that if you have sudo permissions that you are root and sudo and root do have some differences. Uh, they work in different ways, but also there are certain things that sudo users by default, and there's different ways you can set up how sudo works, but by default, sudo users don't have all the permissions root do, does. I've been using Linux for 10 years or so, and I'd say there've been three or four times where there's something I can't do as sudo that I can do as root as far as permissions. So if I say sudo, and we're gonna use the head command, the head command shows the top of a file. Uh, and we're gonna say dash C, and actually we need to run a command again. Uh, earlier I said ls dash S and our temp file to get the file size in um, uh, kilobytes. So now I can say sudo head dash C for count, 
and we're gonna say that many capital K kilobytes of this file. So I'm saying display the top portion of that file to a certain point, and I'm going to redirect that into our device, on, right into our partition, so SDC1 in this case. Again, make sure you're doing the right partition. Don't wipe out a partition you don't mean to. If I hit enter, it's gonna tell me I don't have permission. And you might go, why am I, why is it saying permission denied? I am sudo, because sudo and root are not the same thing. So in some, some systems, you can type su, hit enter, type in your password, the root password. Uh, some systems that's disabled, but you can do sudo su, and now you're running as root. Uh, so, same command as before without uh, the sudo because now you're root and I can hit enter and give it a chance to write that 200 and some odd megabyte to that uh, drive uh, and basically this is going to put a header at the beginning of that partition that's going to tell our operating system that the drive is something other than it is as far as size. And we'll just give it a moment here to do that. twiddling my thumbs. Should have started this when I had stuff to explain. So uh, I'll go on to explain some stuff when we're done here. It's going to show again in certain situations. Okay, it's done. Um, so if I go back to or open up a file manager here, you can see it still says it's a two gigabyte volume. We're going to adjust that in a minute. That's just the label of the drive. So if I click this, it takes a little longer to mount than it does when it's actually a two gig drive but still a few seconds. We can already see down at the bottom here, it's counting things up, 953 gigabytes. And again, if I open up File Lite, which is just a GUI, you can see right here that this drive is 953.4 gigabytes. I can close that, go back into my shell here. I can say DH or DF-H, and you can see that it's showing up as a one, a nine point, or no, sorry, 954 gigabytes. But again, as I showed you last week, if I use F disk dash, uh, sorry, F disk device SDC and hit P, right away it's telling me the truth that it's really only a two gigabyte drive. So I'll quit out of that. So we faked it already that it shows that there is a, um, a larger size when you're looking at the file size, but we still have that pesky little problem of the default label of this drive saying that it's a two gigabyte volume. Now we can change the label and there's two different ways, two different programs to do that and I have found sometimes one works for me and the other doesn't. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use mlabel uh, dash i device sdc1 space colon colon and then in quotations I'm gonna say one tb drive and by default it's gonna make all that uppercase because a label for a FAT32 partition is all uppercase but it doesn't matter if you write lowercase or uppercase it's going to adjust it and right there you can see that worked now if for some reason you try that and that does not work you can also do and you need to either be sudo or root realize I'm still root here but you can do this with sudo but I can say DOS FS label uh, and then the device SDC1 and then just in quotations I can say 1TB drive and hit enter and uh, there that one says warning lowercase it's making it all uppercase and then it says invalid argument so like I said I'm not sure why but sometimes this one works for me and sometimes this one works for me maybe it has, uh, has something to do with how I've partitioned the drive or something along those lines uh, but try both those commands one should work if the other doesn't uh, and both those programs should be in your repositories if you're not installed already. But now the label showing one gig or one terabyte drive, our uh, file manager, and again I'm using PC Man here. I can also look at Thunar, Thunar, and Thunar is also saying that it's one terabyte. You can see down here one terabyte free, and the label's still showing that. And I think I also have Nautilus installed. So here's Nautilus, and if I click on that drive and uh, maybe right click properties right there it says one terabyte free so all my file managers my programs to look at uh, partition usage are all saying that if I list it out in the shell it's saying that it's a one terabyte but either F disk or uh, gparted again type in my password here for gparted 
G parted is not fold and neither is F disc because again, it's not looking at that header, it's actually looking at the size of uh, the device. So that's how you check and that's how you change. And again, I showed you last week how to revert it back to the proper thing. Again, it's showing that's one terabyte and you can write to it. If you try to copy one terabyte of files, it's going to be writing one terabyte of files. But once it hits the gig, the two gigs, whatever size the drive actually is, it's gonna start overwriting files that are on there without telling you and corrupting files. So don't think that you actually made it uh, into a one terabyte drive. You're just faking it, hopefully just for fun. And as always, I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you found it useful, I ask that you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, all those things are very helpful to me. Be sure to visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching these videos on uh, taking USB flash drives and modifying the headers of the partitions to fool people into thinking they're bigger, but at the same time also seeing how to check to make sure that you're not being fooled yourself and how to fix a drive that has been modified. I hope you enjoyed these videos and I hope you enjoy all my videos. I hope you visit my website, filmswaychris.com, and if you like my videos, please think about supporting me over at patreon.com. That's patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There you can become a supporter and you can give extra input and get a little bit more uh, feedback and early videos and stuff like that. I appreciate all your support and again if you can't support me uh, through something that uh, financially through like Patreon, I ask that you share, like, and subscribe my videos and comment below. All those things help boost the ratings on my videos which helps me out a lot and also helps me share things I want to teach with other people. As always, thanks for watching and again I hope that you have a great day.